वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स इन माई लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग फ्रैक्शन इन टू परसेंटेजेस अ लॉट ऑफ योर हैड आस्ट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ मिक्सड फ्रैक्शन इन टू अ परसेंटेज ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द ट्रिक टू डू दैट एज वेल इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर वीडियो okay so now here first we are going to do it in the traditional method okay because a lot of you all don't even know what is the actual method to convert a mixed fraction into percentage okay and then i will show you the trick for it okay so here we have 3 1 by 4 so simply first you convert it into your improper fraction and how do you do that you multiply these two and then you add okay So three into four is twelve. Twelve plus one is thirteen. Thirteen upon four. Now, when you want to convert anything into a percentage, you are going to multiply by hundred. Okay. So here you are going to cancel this out, and you are going to get twenty-five. And when you multiply twenty-five by thirteen, your answer is going to come across as three hundred and twenty-five percent. Okay. Now coming to the part where I'll show you my trick. So the trick over here is you have to write this as nothing but rather you split the mixed fraction as number and fraction. So how do you do that? Is basically three plus one upon four. Okay, and then you simply multiply it by hundred. When you do that, you will directly get three into hundred, which is three hundred. One by four into hundred is nothing but Twenty-five. Okay, so three hundred plus twenty-five is three twenty-five percent. Okay, so now let's quickly understand what did we do. Basically, whatever is the integer part of your mixed fraction, you're just going to multiply that by hundred. Okay, so all the integers part in all these questions, you are just going to add two zeros in front of it. Okay, and then the fraction part. So. there might be cases where your fractions have a denominator which are easily getting cancelled by 100 and in certain cases like this if it is not getting cancelled then what we should be doing i will teach you okay so now simply over here we are not going to follow the traditional method and we are just going to see how to do it with the trick so we are getting 700 plus 3 upon 5 into 100 so 5 ones are and 5 twenties are gets you 100 So three into twenty gets you sixty. So seven hundred plus sixty will get you seven sixty percent. Okay. Now, students, if you are liking the way I am explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, students, don't forget to share these kind of videos with all your friends because this might be really, really helpful for anyone who is preparing for all these entrances like CAT, SAT, ACT, G, J, UPSC, all of that. Okay. So here now again, we are going to add two zeros in front of the integer part of my mixed fraction. So I'm going to get eleven hundred plus seven upon ten into hundred. So the zeros are getting cancelled. So here. When you add eleven hundred and seven into ten is nothing but seventy, so eleven hundred plus seventy. When you add, your answer is coming out to be one hundred one thousand one hundred and seventy percent. Okay, so here also we have four into hundred, which is going to get you four hundred plus two upon twenty five into hundred. So twenty five ones are and twenty five fours are gets you. Hundred. So now you are getting four hundred plus eight, and your answer is four zero eight percent. Okay. So you saw how easy this entire calculation became, right? If you had not learned this trick, what you would have done in this particular fraction would have become eleven into ten, which is hundred and ten plus seven. So hundred and ten plus seven into Hundred upon ten, so that's not going to be very easy for do for you to do it. Okay, this is much easier if you look over here. I'm sorry, if you look over here also, things are going to be very very easy. Now you just have to do ninety one, and you add two zeros. You don't have to multiply ninety one with two hundred and all of that. Okay, and then you have six upon two hundred 
into 100. So the zeros are cancelling to 1s are and 3s are. See, understand whenever you are coming across a fraction which is getting multiplied, okay, you have to first do what the first thing which you need to do is basically you need to reduce your fraction. You cannot keep 6 upon 2 as it is. If you do that, then again you will land up into the whole um, process of taking LCM and all of that, and that's all that's just going to make it very tricky. Okay, so 9100 9, plus 3 is going to get you 91. 0.3% Okay, now over here we have 700 plus 48 upon 60 into 100 Students don't forget after this I'm going to put up a DIY question and you will let you know You will let me know your answers in the comment section But please understand whenever I put up a DIY question for any of my videos you have to use the trick shown in the video to solve those DIYs, okay? Because only then the trick will get registered in your mind and you will be able to use it in critical moments, okay? So this is going to cancel each other. Now, your 6 1s are and 6 8s are, are directly, 48 directly goes in 6 tables. So I'm going to cancel this rather than canceling 3s are and 5s are. Like I have told in many of my videos that cancelling something, uh, some digits with like which are like tens, hundreds, thousands is really something which I will I will always avoid because it really lands up into a bigger calculation or a trickier one. Okay, so seven hundred plus eight into ten, which is eighty. So you will get seven hundred plus eighty. So final answer is 780%. Okay. So students, I hope you all understood how to do basic, um, you know, basic splitting of a fraction. Okay. Of a mixed fraction. Okay. And now coming to the part of your DIY. So the question for this particular video is 6. Uh, 1 by 2 mm, no let's not do that make it 20 and let's make this um, 11 okay and you have to tell me what is the percentage of 6 11 by 20 mixed fraction okay and do let me know your answers in the comment section and I will let you know whether you are right or wrong. So that's it for now. I will very soon see you in the next video.